Hey guys, I just finished up another video, but I want to do a really, really quick video talking a little bit about of uh, a restoration project that I took on um, this weekend. And um, I just wanted to get the info out there because if you're like me, um, maybe you're reluctant to do some um, restoration with your Louis Vuitton bag. Maybe you feel like this is something that is above your head and you don't want to mess up something that maybe is already not in the best shape. So um, I came at you a couple weeks ago to tell you about the vintage Jean Fi that I picked up at my local consignment shop for an absolute steal. Um, and one of the things I mentioned was it didn't have any stickiness. And a lot of these items, especially that had those, I think they were called what night um, interiors, they are known for their stickiness. So when I first bought the bag and I, um, had felt the interior and saw the interior, I could see that, and you can even see a little right here, that it was deteriorating, but nothing felt sticky. Well, after about a week or so of using the bag, I started to, at first, notice a brown film on the things that I put in the pockets. This had three. This has three pockets that had the Vunt Night interior. Um, at first, it was in the interior pocket, like where my makeup is kept, and it was on my compact, it was on my lip stick but when I touched it to the touch it did not feel sticky to me um as time went on and last week I was on vacation at the beach and I brought the bag with me because it's perfect for um you know going out to dinner and stuff like that and um the stickiness then started to be noticeable to me every time I put my hand in the bag when I would pull my cell phone out my cell phone <coughs> was covered with stuff so I had, um, excuse me, read some things about restoration, and one of the, the methods that I saw said acetone, the other one said goo gone, and, and discussing it with my husband, it was just like, I don't know, do you really want to do that? Um, and then my husband suggested, like, just, you know, put your things inside of makeup bags or something when you put them in your bag. So I was like, oh, man, that's not the purpose of why I bought it. One of the reasons I bought it, and I liked it so much, is because of the functionality of the pockets it has and that things would be easy to access. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to continue to think about it, continue to mull it over. Well, I went to church on Sunday and um, I was using, I hadn't quite, um, you started to use all of my items when I came back from vacation. So when I was on vacation, I was just kind of using my um, jean wallet little pouch on vacation. I didn't bring my entire wallet. I just had this. And um, when I use this jean -Fi, I stick my wallet, even my full-size wallet, in this pocket. It slides right in. I don't go for my pocket too much, so it being buckled is not something that bothers me. So I went to take my wallet out. And it went, <laughs> and then all over the back and the front of the wallet was the sticky brown gook. And I freaked out because this is leather. And I was like, oh my God, now I have ruined this, this um, wallet because it got the brown gunk all over it. Now, thankfully, I was able to get it off with a baby wipe and um, a, just a white towel. I was able to get everything off of it. But at that point, I said, okay, well, this is an emergency, so let's do some research, and I'm going to try to get this gunk off. Because to me, you know, a lot of people, they'll say, oh, you buy the vintage and just don't use any of the pockets. And like I said, that was one of the reasons I bought this, because of the functionality with the pockets. So why am I going to not use the pockets? So to me, I had two options. I had the option of trying to fix it or never ever using it. So I thought, okay, well, let's try and fix it. So on, um, <clears throat> first I went through my Louis Vuitton buy, sell chat page on Facebook. And, um, uh, I saw that there was a couple of recommendations for this one particular YouTube user and her YouTube is little mamas M A M M A S house. And she has a ton of awesome videos about frustration, cleaning, um, and she also has an Etsy store where she um, will, like, dye, custom dye, uh, vachetta leather. Um, if maybe the vachetta leather on a bag is really beat up and ugly, she'll dye it, and she does fantastic work. I 
highly recommend, highly recommend that you check her out because her stuff is impressive. So she had this whole video about how to clean a bag with acetone. So I watched the video and I said, okay, I'm just gonna wing it and see how it goes. So I decided to start with this packet first um, because it's something that um, when it's full, it's kind of a tight packet to get into. So I thought if I messed it up somehow, it wouldn't be as big of a loss as messing up the other two packets. So as per Little Mama's House, and again, I would definitely recommend you check her out before you do anything. Um, I had 100% acetone in my house, just regular nail polish remover, make sure it's 100% acetone. And um, I got uh, vinyl gloves. I'm allergic to latex, so I can't use latex gloves. So I had a whole bunch of vinyl gloves. I had Q-tips. Um, I also, what I did is I didn't have any big cotton balls, so I took my Viva paper towels and I ripped them in half and I had those as well. And at first what I did, and I did this entire pocket this way, is I took the cotton, I took the Q-tips. Now this pocket also was like the most, um, already flaked off. So I thought it was a good way to start. Um, so I went and I started at the areas that looked like it was already coming off. And with the Q-tip. I kind of held it on the table, make sure you cover whatever your work surface is, and I kind of held it down. I kept my left hand as being my dry hand, so I didn't accidentally touch any of the leather with um, the acetone on my hands. And I used my right hand as my working hand, and I just kind of held this down. I covered up the top portion with a towel, and obviously I moved the strap out of the way. And I just went along the entire interior and um what is left is just the brown fabric um it is not sticky the corners there's some corners that were kind of hard to get to that when i can stick my finger in there i might feel a little bit of residue um but it's just cloth now um when you are done getting it everything off with the acetone you're going to take a baby wipe and you're going to rub that over. Um, I also took the baby wipe and I rubbed it over the canvas and at first I was a little nervous because it looked discolored and I thought oh no did the acetone drip I messed it up but no what it was was the sticky brown stuff had stuck to my monogram and that was not coming off with the baby wipe. So actually what I did wind up doing is I took my white towel dry and I had to scrub it and scrub it and scrub it until finally it came off and then I went over again with the baby wipe. So I let it dry completely and I was happy with the results. So the next day, which is this Monday, I did the other two pockets. Now, um, day two, the first pocket I did was the interior. This one took the most time. It took the most time because as I said, it was the most kind of sticky and gross already because it's the first pocket I noticed getting messed up and also because it was on two sides so with this one I actually I started with the q-tip and um it wasn't cutting it it wasn't getting through to it as well as I would like so that is when I took my Viva towel and I dipped it in the acetone um it worked well. I will say that it did deteriorate pretty quickly and I had to use a lot of paper towels, but I got more surface area. So I just spent doing one side, wipe, 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 did the other side, followed it up with the same process as the baby wipe, let it dry. Um, and it was still sticky, especially in the corners, which kind of like a blind corner because it goes past where the zipper is. Um, so I repeated the process again with Q-tips. And there are still, like I said, a couple of sticky spots still. Um, I haven't used it since I cleaned it up. So if I find that I'm still getting gook, I will go back and I will clean the little remote corners as well. Um, and then the last pocket I did was this one. And kind of the same process. Now I was a little more careful because there's leather here and there's leather, leather here. So I covered those with towels. I feel like a sticky spot right there. Um, but I did the same is with the back side where I just kind of used my dry hand to hold that down and then did this entire surface. Um, the one thing I have still yet to do is there's like little fuzzy balls that I have to clean up still. Um, but 
if you were like me and, and you were like, oh gosh, I would never even imagine to try to clean this bag with acetone or with the Goo Gone or something that's abrasive. And I'm so glad that I just went ahead and made the rash decision to do it because I think that this bag went from something that maybe I would not use again because I don't want to get sticky stuff and ruining my items to something that has new life. Um, so definitely check out Little Mama's house. She could give you better information. She actually cleans the bag right in front of you, which I thought was super helpful. But if you're thinking about doing a restore, I say give it a try. What do you have to lose, right? All right. Thanks so much. Bye.